Have you ever seen the blind leading the blind? Hi, this is Ken Yates from Grace Evangelical Society, and I would like to deal with that question. And let me just tell you in advance, you have seen the blind leading the blind. And I'd like to, if I could, use as a springboard an, uh, an account in the Old Testament book of 2 Kings chapter 17. Now, when we get to chapter 17 in 2 Kings, what has happened is that because of their idolatry, God has judged the nation of Israel and taken them off into captivity by the Assyrians. This is the northern kingdom of Israel. The southern kingdom of Judah still remained. But what had happened in Israel was they had fallen into idolatry and they worshipped all kinds of idols. They worshipped idols on every hill in the nation, it says. Now, they would also worship God. You know, they would uh, say that they were worshiping God and sacrificing to him as well. And so they had a very uh, uh, pluralistic religion. Well, God judges them and takes them off into captivity. And it says in 2 Kings chapter 17, starting in verse 25, that the Assyrians brought in other people from other countries to repopulate the land, and these people would be later become known as the Samaritans. But when they brought these people in, these other people brought in their own gods, their own idols, and when they got there, they were worshiping these idols. And it's really an interesting account because it says that as they were doing that, God judged them. It was still his land and even though he had judged his own people for doing idolatry, the new people who worshiped idolatry were also judged. And it says that lions came in and killed a number of the people. And they were very superstitious. They go, why are all these lions killing us? And they concluded that it was because of the God of that land, the God of Israel, was judging them. And they said, well, how do we make him happy? How do we appease him? And it's almost, it's sad, but it's almost humorous what the king of Assyria decided to do. They go, well, we need to bring in a priest of the Jews who's been taken off into captivity, bring him back to tell the people how to make the God of Israel happy. Now you would think they would say, well, you know what? That priest didn't do a good job before. <laughs> He, the God of Israel had judged his people, uh, so it's probably not a good, God, good idea to get someone like that, but that's what they decided. And so they brought a priest back who had been taken off into Assyria, and he was the one who was going to teach the people how to make the God of Israel happy. And as you might expect, he taught them, well, you got to make sacrifices to him, uh, but the other ones, the other gods that you're worshiping, you can still do what you've been doing all along. What an example of the blind leading the blind. This priest who was a part of the problem before was teaching the new people how to worship God in a way that pleased him. And obviously, it was an example of someone who didn't know what he was talking about uh, teaching other people how to worship God. And so once again, the land was full of idolatry, but the people would throw the God of Israel a bone and make sacrifices to him as well. You know, in the Bible, in the New Testament, uh, Jesus says that the Pharisees are the blind leading the blind. And obviously we can look at unbelievers and say, people outside of the church and say, wow, that's the blind leading the blind. They have no idea how to please God. But do you know in Luke 6, Jesus warns his disciples, watch out because you can also be a victim of the blind leading the blind. And I just like to suggest to you some examples where we see it. Even in our churches, we hear people preach a different gospel. And sometimes these are people who believe the gospel of grace and now they've been 
influenced by others and now they're teaching a false gospel they teach a gospel that says you can lose your salvation or you uh if you don't do enough good works you're really not saved and you're going to wind up in hell those are all examples of the blind leading the blind so even as believers we need to be careful we need to be careful who we listen to there in second kings chapter 17 they brought in a guy who uh, had the right, uh, what what would we say, pedigree. He had the right words. He talked about the God of Israel. But he was a blind leader of the blind. And there's plenty of them around us today. People who do not teach the message of grace. And when you meet someone like that, and they're all around us, you're seeing the blind leading the blind. If you like this, I'd ask that you would press the like button and even the subscribe button. And remember, keep grace in focus.